Hey, what's up, everybody? One Eyed Sniper here, and we are doing a let's play of Bioshock. Uh, so we're here at the medical pavilion towards the end of it. Uh, this would transition us to the next level. Uh, and uh, so in the last episode, right in here, we had a big daddy get killed. Uh, he's right there, and the little sister was cringing in the corner, and we had a choice between harvesting and rescuing. And I decided to go for the harvest because I haven't done that yet. So we're going uh, kind of the bad guy way. Um, depending on how you view the little sisters, I guess. But there is one little sister left in this area. I'm not sure if they're available to us, but I'm going to do a little backtracking and see. Uh, because now that we've kind of started the harvest or rescue process, uh, we will come across them now. Uh, we'll have to fight a big daddy, so that could be difficult, to say the least. But we're going to check it out. That way is now blocked off, so we can't go that way anymore. But that moaning sound is basically an indication that there is a big daddy and a little sister close by. Uh, the nickname for the big daddies the little sisters have is Mr. Bubbles. Um, so I, they're in this direction. I don't know if we can get over there. It doesn't look like it. At least not yet. Because uh, we're already getting farther away because I don't hear them anymore. So I'm thinking th this will have to be one that we come back to later. Yeah, so they may be above us. So we can go ahead and exit this area now. Yeah, because they're in that section. Uh, so kind of what they do is they run up to those vents, uh, pound on the vents to call the, the little sister, and then they come out to harvest Adam from the angels. All right, let's go ahead and head out of here then. All right, so we're getting plenty of ammo, which I'm happy about. Use the shotgun. You want to really what you want to save is the specialized rounds. Okay, this exit is back out here. You want to save the specialized rounds for bosses and the big daddies. Darling, we need more of these for the show. She's almost dead. This should work fine. You're ready now. It's time to take on one of them big daddies. It won't be easy, but it's the only way to get to little sister and the atom they carry. Oh. Alright, there is a, another little sister ahead. To get the atom from her, you must deal with her big daddy first. Alright, so you get time to prep, because the big daddies are not hostile, so initially. So we're gonna go with electric buck. For that one. Armor piercing for the Alright, so we've got a couple places we can heal, uh, so I guess we're going to get started. Oh. It's got me trapped here, so let me... We're going to go electric fuck. going too well because I'm stuck in the corner. <laughs> I 
right. well, that'll be our first death. There's a lot of stuff going wrong with this game. I don't know what the... It's not letting me switch weapons, but uh, that's fine. Little as he now, we're just going to come back to life. And... Screw him up. Where are we? I believe he's automatically hostile at this point. Oh, I guess once you've hacked it, you can't break it. Where am I? This guy's going down. All right, you son of a bitch. And I got stunned. <laughs> ah, damn. It's a little like cheating. Go ahead and heal one more time. Oh, I don't want to deal with you right now. Alright. This thing's almost dead. We'll do a little better in the future, I think. I'm gonna want to buy some more rounds for this. What is the greatest lie ever created? What is the most vicious obscenity ever perpetrated on mankind? In fact, it might not be a bad idea to do it right now. Oh, that's not that great. I was hoping for some electronic buck. Alright, Bouncer's dead. Third time's a charm. We get 74 bucks out of it. And now she's gotta go. Yeah, you're out of here, little sister. Alright, so we got all the little sisters out of this level cleared away. We're drastically low on medkits now. So I'll probably be destroying most of the uh, med stations that we come across in the future. At least until we get our medkits stored back up. Uh, there was a bunch of them in the safe down by the doctor, but I don't want to head all the way back there. I think we'll be alright. Are you almost back to emergency access? Come through as soon as you get there. You got Ryan's eye now. You won't hear him coming, but he'll be there before you know it. I'm ready for Ryan. Come on, come at me. Got plenty of shotgun rounds ready for you guys. The parasite hates three things. Alright, well by one grouping electronic buck, that stuff is expensive. Uh, 
There he is. Oh. Alright, well that nitro splicer's dead. Nothing in his grenade box. Took a little more shotgun rounds than I anticipated. It's crazy, just like that going from two mini med kits to only one. Uh, I think the key's up here. There we go. Security alert deactivated. Thank you for your patience. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Come through to Port Neptune now. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. Yeah, we'll see, Atlas. Alright, all we gotta do is jump in the bathosphere and we shall move on. Alright, here we are in Neptune's bounty. We're greeted with a strung up eviscerated corpse. Which was apparently a smuggler. Exactly what happened. Maybe he went mad. Maybe the power got to him. Maybe he just decided he didn't like people. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. My family's in a submarine hidden in the foundation of Fontaine Fisheries. I'll meet you there. Alright, so now we're heading to the Fontaine Fisheries. So they have him listed as a smuggler. Uh, I don't know if the suitcase is his, but Ryan, of course, would be against religion. I don't know if he's against it enough to kill people over it. And I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, so the gene bank is where we can swap our upgrades. Okay. We're gonna go back to incinerate. And we have the one physical tonic. Engineering. We're full up there. And static discharge and armored shell. Okay, so we're good to go there. Eventually we will be able to unlock these other uh, places. It looks like you can have a total of six plasmids and then the individual tonics. I'm gonna buy a couple med kits. And a couple Eve hypos just to keep us steady. So we're full up on a lot of the basic ammo. Figure out which way we go here. We gotta do some jumping. There is something back there. Oh, 
Oh. Stuff I already looked at. Looks like we got another splicer. What crawls in my garden? Alright. So this will be a new type of splicer we're about to meet. They do get a little deadlier. Oh, looks like we got a couple dead bodies up in the water. Dropping uh, rose petals. Alright, so let's go ahead and break this. Alright, I, I don't know why I'm going to hit it so many times. Oh, I took off that uh, upper body strength one for the wrench. And just like that, we got a new big daddy. Should be three in this level. I don't think I'm ready. But we don't have to take him out right now, so we'll just avoid him. I think there's another tonic over there. Automated gun. I don't know why I just don't know why I just did that. Well, that'll come in handy. All right, so that turret won't do anything until the uh, against the big daddy until it gets hostile. And we might be able to use these splicers to, to our advantage, actually. Because they will damage him a little bit. Kind of wish our gun wasn't doing a lot of the work. Oh, well, there goes the gun. I got another one. Probably that one throws grenades also. Proximity grenades. A lot of items down here for us, which is good. I don't know if that will blow up on us or not. I think we can throw it back at him, though. We're putting all the bathyspheres in lockdown until further notice. Ryan had us install some kind of genetic device into the thing, so only Ryan and his inner circle will be able to use them without dispensation. <laughs> but the boys tell me the keys are pretty unreliable. Sisters, cousins, anybody in the ballpark genetically will be able to come and go as they see fit. All right. 
So the security leaves a little to be desired, apparently. Uh, so basically, if, when you're listening to that, um, we should not be able to use the bathyspheres because he's got a lock down. But it says family members can, so that includes us. It looks like, and we could have got a bunch of that, but I don't have the telekinesis on right now. Right, medical expert. Uh, with medical expert, your first aid kits will go farther, healing sickness and injury at a rate you're sure to find astonishing. Don't use a first aid kit without your best friend, medical expert. Uh, it's a physical tonic, so we will use that one. I was kind of hoping these guys would attack the... There we go. Alright, so... I'm a little hesitant to go after this. We've got one armor piercing round. Got some electric buck. And we don't have any armor piercing for that. Well, they're attacking me, apparently. Oh, that hurt. Still alive somewhere. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to go for this. Stop screwing around here. Let's see what we can do with the machine gun. We got our machine gun that's going to help out a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't see what that note said. All the way back here. Let's see if I can't see what the note said on that. Alright, I can't. That's going to take us right back in at least. I don't know if lightning on fire does overly well. Not really. We're better off with electro bolts. So shooting the rivets at us is what he's doing. Oh, 
crap. Get out of here. Come on, bitch. That's my one armor piercing round. I'm not sure what it's saying to me. It says I'm holding right trigger to kill a stunned enemy. I doubt it means them. Let me out of here. Some first aid kits. Some more electronic buck. I don't know what I just bought. I thought I bought electronic buck. But maybe not. Getting kind of boxed in here, unfortunately. Harry. Okay. Let's see if we can't go buy some more stuff. Alright, maybe stuck with just buckshot for the time being. It's almost dead. <laughs> All right. It's not really anything to be proud of. Because we're almost dead again. But you know what time it is. Alright, stocking up on that Adam. We got some more money, so I'm gonna need to go purchase some upgrades here. But all we can get. So we just have to be a little careful. No more big daddies for the time being. But that is three down for us. No. Two. I think we could take it out two. So that was a Rosie. Rosies come with a rivet gun, throw grenades, and they are a little easier actually. But I think we'll go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, I want to get to the point, obviously, where I'm not dying every time, time we fight a big daddy. But that may come a little later. Uh, basically, when we get more access to some better rounds, it, it gets a little easier. But, uh, yeah, we'll end the episode here, and we will take on uh, Fontaine's Fisheries in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time. Peace.